It's really hot today in L.A. How hot is it? Oh, man, it is so hot. <laughs> Which uh, makes me wonder why we've got the fire going. Yeah, it's very excessive. It's me. Yeah, I know. I, I think I should probably put it out. Here, let me just... Give a second. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's it. Get it. There you go. Put your back into it. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is... I think there's a secret magical land on the other <laughs> side of the fire. There was a man in there. A man! And he looked like he was some kind of, what would you call a man like that? A prop man of some yeah, kind? Man. Did you see his hands yeah. creeping out, trying to put the fire back? But doesn't it feel so much cooler with the fire move? It certainly does. It actually moved. Very hard to see at this angle that it's moved at all. Perhaps you could move one of these cameras. They're on wheels! Yeah. yeah there it is. <laughs> that right was there. Yeah, right there, yeah. Oh, there you are. So much Look, better. Look, it's a secret magical land inside here. <laughs> oh. I know what you're thinking, Craig, what on earth are you doing? I am literally deconstructing the Fruitsy Fruits genre! <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Sears. Performance starts here. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Very, very good indeed. I hope we have an audience this good later in the week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this is like a Friday night crowd. It really is. It really it's is. Like a Monday night, but it's like a Friday night crowd. They're like, we're Friday night people. Yeah. I don't know how you feel because I'm wearing my Friday night tie. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed yeah. That. <laughs> Did you hear the warm-up comedian before I came yeah, out? Yeah, he yeah, He was getting the audience because he likes them to... We call him a comedian, of course. Yeah, he's not really a comedian. Not really a comedian. No. But he, he was saying to the audience, uh, give, give him a 10, because they like 10 is the number one, like the, the highest ovation, it, apparently. Right, give yeah, him a 10. Right. And then I heard him saying, tease, tease me with your 10. <laughs> tease me with your 10. And I thought, what's going on out there? Or, or give, me, give you, me... You ever had anyone tease you with a 10? I, I had a guy give me a 9 once, and I owed him a 1. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Friday night show already. Yeah, it, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is. It's hot, though. It is. It's very hot. It's a very hot day here in Los Angeles. Very hot. How, how hot is it, Jeff? Oh, it was so hot. <laughs> how hot was it? How hot was it, Craig? How hot? It, it, was so, it was so hot, CBS nearly replaced me with a camel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hot, I saw lizards doing the ice bucket challenge. 
lizards. All right. It was so hot that real housewives injected their foreheads with cold lemonade. Yeah, yeah. It was so hot, Jay Leno wore his denim Speedo. His denim Speedo. <laughs> 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 pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was so hot. All right, we still doing it so hot? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, it's so hot. Uh, Kim Kardashian made a sex tape with the Kool-Aid man. Yeah, there. That's, good. that's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It was so hot, men in West Hollywood did jazz hands just for the breeze. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that hot no, for no, that. No, 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 no. It was so hot, people that came to the show just for the air conditioning. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I did. Yeah. All right. No, it's a, it's a great, great day for a Canadian cat. <laughs> now, I don't mean... I don't mean like Justin Bieber or anything, you know, like oh, a Canadian dude. Right, right. You forget he's Canadian, don't you? Yeah, I forget. I, I, I forget he's Canadian. So, because you look at him uh, like the way he is, and you think, well, that's the least Canadian thing I've that's ever right, seen. That's right. Canadians are polite, civilized, friendly, intelligent. What's that? Ay, caramba! <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, no, it's. No. Wait. No. Hold on. You have to let me use that word because it was correct in the context. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. No, if it's correct in the context, man. No, that's uh, it's the law. If it's contextually correct, look it up on your little uh, tablet that I'm not allowed to say iPad on. Go on, look it up. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, look, he's got black. He's got his BlackBerry got out. It. Look, he's got his BlackBerry oh, out. Dear. Yeah. Who the hell? Ah, is you can't. You can't say that. Can't do that. I can't believe he's saying. I'm texting my mother. <laughs> on, on his BlackBerry. Uh, uh, anyway, it's a great day for a Canadian cat. I think that's what I was talking about. That's no, I don't mean. A, you know, I mean. I, I mean an actual cat in Canada. With her name is Cleo. Cle Cleo. 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 This cat. The Canadian cat called Cleo. Yeah. It's like a Danny Kane. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it? It is yeah. and the vessel with the pestle and the chalice with the palace right. and the Canadian, Canadian cat, cat called Cleo. Cleo. Yeah. But her name's Cleo and she fell from her owner's 17th floor window and survived perfectly unharmed. It was probably an accident, but police are questioning this guy. <laughs> and that was tonight's joke for ladies who love cats. Let's have the grab. <laughs> That was kind of weird, wasn't it? <laughs> no, here it isn't. That's how we roll. <laughs> we play cats and harp music all the time. <laughs> it was a great day in New York City. The View started a new season this morning with new hosts Rosie Perez and Rosie O'Donnell. A, a pair of roses. I, I had a pair of roses once. I fell asleep naked on a tanning bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One, one time I got a pair of roses and a whoopee. Yeah, yeah, but enough about my time in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> See, right no, I, I made a joke yeah, of uh, names of Rosie, Rosie, yeah. and Whoopi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll love that. Really good stuff, yeah. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell was on The View a few years ago, and then she left, and then she came back. I didn't know that you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> no uh -oh. way. <laughs> no way. No. Now, now you, no. wait, now let's just check. No. You, you know, you have to let me say it because it was in context. Okay. It was in con. It was grammatically correct. He's a racist. He's a he racist. He is a racist. Yeah. You know, Scottish people talk like that. Do you know, if this big referendum that's coming up in Scotland, if Scotland votes for independence, we're going to come and get you. Oh. He wants to be taken away. He wants to be taken away. Yeah. Well, he's been watching that Outlander. He's like, oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's what all Scottish guys are like. They're all handsome walking around with kilts going, I am a lady. <laughs> I am a lady. That's, I'm getting turned on over here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right.
right, uh, commercial break? Yeah, sure. Why Come not? on then. Because you have over 10 cats, you're watching the Late Late <laughs> Show with Ray Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a quick check in the fire. It seemed all right during the monologue, but it's falling apart again. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. It seems it's... Uh, I thought... It... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of activity back there. Yeah, it's... But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this show, we're like the uh, Pony Express. That's right. That's we right. don't stop. Whether the fire's falling apart or the rain or the hail or the what you call it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We plow on through with our advanced form of mediocrity. <laughs> time is it, Jeffrey Peters? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who spent the break pruning his rosies. <laughs> Just go with it. Go with it. It's from before. You're, yeah, you <laughs> Play the jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you go tell support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than my Gandhi. And emails. And emails. Emails. And Morgan. Ask Mo. All right. This is from uh, Mike in St. Petersburg in Russia, not the one in Florida, the one in, in Russia. 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 Yeah, well, it's, it's written Russia, uh, it, and then you can tell, look, that, that oh, is yeah. Russia. And then it says Russia. Good so I, my, my guess is it's the one in Russia. That's how you know. Yeah. Yep. That's how you know. He says, uh, I'll do it in a Russian voice. Okay. <laughs> Dear Craig Berg and Jeff Peterson. It's from Dracula. Dracula. Dracula in Russia. Dear Craig und Jeff, it's from German Dracula. German Dracula. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I am wondering what you two did over the weekend and whether you did it together. <laughs> the Russians want to know what we're doing at the weekend. Huh? Would you Would you do this weekend? Um, some things. I was just standing here the whole time, man. <laughs> Just keep I was fire. just sitting here the whole time. You, that's, actually, you let everyone know that's true. You sit here the I entire time. I sit here the whole time. When you guys go, I just sit here, <laughs> waiting for you to come back. And when you're not here, him over there, he hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I watch. This is from Dave in Bozeman, Montana. Look at that. That's a proud American like there. there Look at go. Dave. Look. Uh, who? who? <laughs> Why, Dave, of course. Who? who? <laughs> Dear Craig, what is the least amount a guy can spend on an engagement ring and not look too cheap? I'm afraid the damage is done by asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, from Stefania. Ooh. Oh. Uh, what kind of accent would Stefania have? Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. This is from Stefania in oh. Temecula, California. Oh, I love it in Temecula. You like it in Temecula? Yeah. Where else do you like it? <laughs> I also, that, that's the only place I, you like it I in also Temecula? Like it, I also like it in Pomona. It's hot in Pomona, sure though, isn't it? <laughs> Probably or definitely? It could have been. No, it definitely is. Today. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. Uh, This is from Stephanie in Temecula, California. It says, dude, it's the Chargers year. Get on the bandwagon. The Chargers did, in fact, beat the, uh, what do you call it, Seahawks. From, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. That happened. Yeah, that did happen. So, so get, on, get on board with that. <laughs> and that was Craig and Jeff talking sports. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we were yeah. 
Falcon Sports yeah. there, buddy. <laughs> just like a couple of regular dudes. Good stuff. Just like regular dudes. Hey, did you watch the sports of the weekend? Oh, it, was, it was great. The guy and the whole thing, that was wild. Yeah. I don't know, though. If they don't do that, then that other thing might happen. Yeah, it's just unbelievable what they're doing this year. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right. This is from Diane in Westwood, uh, California. Have you ever been to Westwood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Craig, I really love your show, but I feel you're a little too harsh on the Kardashians. Could you cut them a break, please? What do you think? Hell no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll cut them a break if uh, one of the Kardashians themselves calls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's Chloe. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you said. Didn't say which yeah, I got one, one of those things. Look, I they got a gavel. A gavel. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, the judge shows, that's where the money is. Yeah, that's, are you yeah, going to yeah, do one of those? Like, you going to do one of those? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do a judge show. Judge Craig. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, like, you be uh, against him uh, in some kind of lawsuit. Like, you uh, inappropriately touched him at the water cooler. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. and I'll be the judge. All right, so what happened? Tell me what happened. <laughs> Is this true? That is absolute nonsense, okay? He well, came you tell me, me exactly what happened then. Well, he came onto me. I was at the water cooler, and he came up from behind me. Both of them did. And, uh... <laughs> and what wait, was wait, I supposed to... can we to... hear from the other side? <laughs> <laughs> how, how could I resist that, Your Honor? All right, I find in favor of the horse. The hell? Yeah. Look on. Yeah. Wow. What the hell happened there? Did you see that? A, just a bit of a sound effect. They're oh, really... it was a sound effect. Let's have another sound effect. Just anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> Good time. Let's have another one. <laughs> we'll do that again, and I'll do that. I really like that. Yeah. Did, it, did it work? Yeah, yeah, it turned me on, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Aiko and uh, Chiyoko in Tokyo. <laughs> I'll just do this in my own voice. Yeah, no, I understand, yeah. <laughs> careful, yeah, careful. <laughs> uh, hello, Craig. We watch your show here in Japan and would love it if you would say hello to your biggest fan club members here. Thank you. Well, uh, Aoko uh, and uh, Chiyoko, konnichiwa. <laughs> oh, we've got the, have you still got the, because we go out in Japan. You know? That's right. Yeah, this show do. goes out in Japan. It actually yeah. does. Have you got the, the, the thing? Play the thing for us in Japan. Super happy fun time hour with Robert and Goldman. Good stuff. It's not often you hear of a round of applause that seems to say, well, that wasn't very good. No, no. But that round of applause definitely did say that, didn't it? It, it was, was like, very sarcastic. Oh, that yeah. wasn't very good at all. I hope the show's better on Friday. <laughs> well, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they're excited yeah, about they Friday's are. show yeah. coming up. Uh, this is from Delilah in Cumberland in Maryland. No, we went to Maryland once. What happened when we were Uh, we got crabs. Oh, yeah, that's where you... <laughs> now, is that where uh, Dover is? Well, have you been to Dover? I, I, a couple of times in the 80s. What about you? Oh, yeah, have you ever many been times. To Dover? Sure, many times. Yeah, been to Dover, yeah. With the... <clears throat> did you like it? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> this, this segment has been on for a half hour now. <laughs> <laughs> is this... I know, I'm kind of, I'm drifting a little bit. I myself. like it, man, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, uh, well, there's only one left. This is from Delilah in Cumberland, Maryland. He says, Craig, I was wondering if you had a nice weekend. Well, bad, thanks. 
Yeah, decent, decent. Can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Commercials. <laughs> Guest, our first guest, my first guest. It's only Monday, and it's my first guest, my first guest tonight. I'll hear about. Will I hear second guest, second guest, or first guest? First guest, first guest, first guest, first guest, first guest. Clue, clue, movie, movie actor. Play, play, play. You, you okay? I got mixed up between auctioneering and show. Yeah, yeah, we went back and forth. Yeah, we. My first guest tonight is a big-time actor and a musician. His show, The Following, returns to Fox next year, and his band's brand-new album, 36 Cents, 36 Cents, 36 Cents, yeah, comes out tomorrow. Please welcome Kevin Bacon, everybody. Kevin Bacon. Hey, man. Looking good, man. Thank you. No, you look good. No, you look no. nice. Thank you, you look very much. Uh, it's, it's like you're going out somewhere later. You look kind of sexy. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I'm not so insecure. I can't look at a man and say, you know, you're attractive. Well. No, like, I, don't, I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable. I would make out with you right now. <laughs> are, you, are you waiting for me to call your bluff? No, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I well. know. Dude, you made this album with your, with your brother. I did, yes. Yeah, we just, uh, we just got off the road, and uh, we were, uh, you know, driving around on a bus, and, and uh, this, this was the album we were playing mostly. Well, no, you, the bus was part of the tour. You weren't just, like, bus drivers. No, 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 no. Right. No, 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 we actually... You know, had... we could do better than this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, we actually had a bus drive. Great bus. I love being on a, on a tour bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, great. It's, yeah. it's, it's really good. There's 10 of us, and uh, we had a very, very awesome driver uh, this time. And, and, you know, they take it very seriously. Like, it, you wake up in the morning, and he'll say, you know, I stopped. Did you even feel me stop? And that's like... We're a, still talking about the bus driving, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, of course we're talking. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All right, well, there's a theme already happening here, but of course we're talking about the bus driver because he, he, he has to drive the bus. He can't be coming back to my bunk. And so, no, no, yeah. no. He'd, he'd, have, he'd have to stop for that yeah. to happen. Yeah, exactly. And then you might feel it. But his, yeah. his name is, uh, uh, was Kevin, and... Uh, oh, wait, oh, that proposes a problem. Well, it? except that he liked to be known as Smooth K. Which, uh, well, I was kind of upset about because I really wanted Smooth K. Smooth K, yeah. Who would want to be Smooth K? Exactly. That's the name exactly. you want. And we had this really interesting thing happen where we, we stopped someplace. I think it was in Georgia, and it turned out that we had a night off. So uh, he, he had the ability to go to his niece's wedding that just happened to be happening on that day in the town that we happened to land on the tour. Wow. So we woke up the next morning. And uh, I'm, I'm coming down, and we're about to get on the bus and go wherever we're going next. And he introduces me to the groom, a nice, nice kid. And I said, oh, this is great, congratulations, you know, I'm a big, big fan of marriage. And uh, uh, where are you going for your honeymoon? <laughs> and he said, well, we're going to Mexico. Oh, wow, that's amazing. You've been to Mexico? No, I've never been. I'm really excited. So I go and I get, get on the bus, and we're waiting for uh, uh, Smooth K to get on and drives me. He, 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 he comes back on the bus. He says, listen. Uh, my niece is here, and she's upset because her husband uh, met you, and she didn't get a chance to say hi and you know get a picture or whatever. So I, I get off the bus. I'm like, very nice to meet you, and she's a you know beautiful young girl, and seems very excited about her her wedding. She's all smiles, and uh, I said, uh, so have you been to Mexico before? And her face fell, and she her eyes started to well up, and she went, oh my God, Kevin Bacon just ruined. My honeymoon surprise. <laughs> and I was like, hi, hi, I didn't, I, nobody oh, said. Man. I no, that's why, that's why you can't be smooth cake. I'm definitely not. 
I was, can't be speaking yeah. fast. I was, no. I was very rough K. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's a clumsy K there. That's... Yeah. Why is the album called 36 Cents, then? Well, this is a, a, a song of my brother's, uh, which he would probably explain to you, has to do with having 36 cents in your pocket as a songwriter and, uh, oh. and, and lyrics and, 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 and Oh, picks. there's your brother there. He's behind you right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's like that. Picks, you know, it's, it's hey. not, yeah, I know. He's, he's good, he's good looking, too. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. He seems like he's creeping up on you there. <laughs> you, you look a bit like Smooth K there, but the, uh, you know, that doesn't look like a man that would ruin a young girl's day. Dude, I felt terrible. Yeah, nah, that must be bad. I feel bad for I you. That's really a shame. I think, she, I think she got... She told me later, once, once she kind of calmed down, that she was happy to have the story. Yeah, she'll always know that you yeah. were the guy that ruined, ruined the surprise. <laughs> Well, look, sooner or later, it wasn't, it was, when I really started to think about it, it was only in, if they were on their way to the airport, I only ruined it by about an hour and a half. Because you're going to have to know where to get it. Yeah, and once you get say, to the airport, that's yeah. true. They go and say, you, you can't go up to the, the, the desk and say, hey, keep it quiet where we're going. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> everybody else will go, what, what, because Kevin Bacon's here or something? <laughs> Well, I hope they have How long were you done. on the bus for? Because I go out and do road stuff on the bus. After about a week, I am so smelly, I has to, something has to be done. Yeah, it was, uh... You, you don't take a shower on the No, whole... no, no. Dude, I, I, I'm European. Okay, all right, all right. All right I, I, let's get my mind. Uh, yeah, it was, that was about two, two weeks, but now, that's ten of us. Ooh. So, you can... Do you have the little bunks, though, in yeah, the bunks? bunks? They're yeah. cool, aren't they? Yeah, I, yeah. I love them. To me, to me, it's like... You know, for, for someone uh, my age to go back, it's sort of like going back in, in time. You know, you feel like a kid. You know, you're all walking around, uh, you know, in your underwear. <laughs> and, you know, I'm it's listening. just a bunch of guys. <laughs> so it's, it's a, a bunch, bunch of guys, guys walking ten, around ten, in their underwear. Ten guys walking around in their underwear. Okay. Is this a movie? See. I think I've seen this movie. It's... The thing is, we've been together for 20 years. And so, and my brother's obviously my, my brother, and we're, and we're, you know, we know a lot about each other, but it, it does give you an opportunity to see what each other wears to bed. Do you, do you watch, do you watch movies on the bus? Uh, yeah, we watch movies once in a while. You gotta um, watch, you gotta watch Spinal Tap on the bus. Oh, yeah. You always gotta watch Spinal Tap. That's and my favorite movie. That's a great movie, that's isn't it? I could, I could probably, I've seen that movie like about 150 yeah, times. Yeah, I, that's like my tour favorite buses. movie. You can, and, and we could never get, we would, we, we have watched Spinal Tap on the bus, actually. Yeah. And you know, the funny, great thing about Spinal Tap is that if you do play in a band, you really do have Spinal Tap. We call them all Spinal the Tap moments. All the time. This whole show moments. is a kind of Spinal Tap moment all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, you've got to watch anything that's got Jason Statham in it. Really? Yeah, yeah, because you can really watch them on buses. It's I like, because he's going to take revenge. Ah. <laughs> All right. That's he's cool. like, I'm going to take revenge. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes it. Ah. Yeah. What about speed? That'd be a good... Ah, uh, well, you can't sleep if you take speed. Or... Oh, I see what you mean. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh... You can watch that movie on the bus. Yes, yes, uh, that's a that's a good one. Or anything that's uh, got you know violent, a lot of violence. Or The Godfather Two, on the bus. Okay. Yeah, always good. Right. Or Groundhog Day. Was you in? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, somebody else. <laughs> all right. So you get to see what all your pals wear uh, to bed. Yeah. So yeah. what do they wear? Uh, well, the, the, you know, some people go with boxers, and mm, some that's me. Go with boxers. The, there is a. Uh, we do have the uh, snoring member of the group. You know, we'll be playing later on, so you can try to guess which one of them. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. What about uh, nose strips? You can get nose strips. At any farmer, they're very good. I've never tried that. Oh, they're awesome, man. You never. put them on. It's like sleeping in an oxygen tent. It opens up your hooter, <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's really? amazing. Is that what the, they, the football players wear those? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah. 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 Um, never tried those. Football players? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it went this way, man. It just went this way. It goes the way it goes. You know, that's I mean, that's, it's that's, like that's it. what it is. You know, I like it. you come out here, you're being all smooth K, and then that's what happened. <laughs> all right, so uh, listen, we have to take a break, and then your brother Michael's going to come out, and come on he's going to explain to us uh, what 36 cent means. Yeah, he'll do and a better job than I would. No, that's all right. And then he can tell us embarrassing stories about you as a child. Uh, okay. Why not? Why not? All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. 
everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm sitting here with Kevin Bacon, but, you know, uh, we've got the more interesting one now coming out. Please welcome the lovely Michael Bacon, everybody. Right now. I love your trousers. Thank you. That's a fantastic pair of trousers. They look comfortable yet stylish. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pretty much. That kind of sums me up. Comfortable. Comfortable yet stylish. <laughs> Do you wear this when you go to bed on the bus? You know, I got to clear something up. I don't walk around in my underwear on the bus. I, I, All right, what do you wear on the bus then, smooth Michael? I, <laughs> I disrobe in my bunk with the curtain. That's so hard to do, though, because it's like the bunk is only this wide. It's hell on the road. I'm yeah, kidding. I don't know. I, I like the, the challenge of disrobing in the tiny little space. It reminds, I, I, me, I've of, mastered reminds me of that. when my life was more interesting. <laughs> So what do you do then? You, 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 you go into the little space and you get your pajamas on and you button them up to the neck and brush your teeth and make sure you floss and put your mouth guard in? Um, I don't wear pajamas and never have. Whoa, excuse me, Jim Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't wear pajamas either? I don't know. I never slept with him. But what? Uh, all right, once, but I was drunk. So, uh, so you sleep naked? No, I sleep in my underpants. But I don't walk up and down the bus. Well, do you, wait, do you have... Because this is very important for me to fight this out. <laughs> do, you, do you sleep in underpants for sleeping? Or is the underpants you've been wearing all day? Underpants I've been wearing all day. What Ooh. the hell? <laughs> you guys are badass, huh? <laughs> Tell me what 36 cents means. Uh, that was about the, the amount of money we made in the first year that we had the band in 1994. About 36 wow. cents. Um, and good for the first year of a yeah, band, actually. It actually. It's kind of a song about songwriting and um, that you do it and you, and you have certain rewards and one of them is reaching your pocket and you have 36 cents, two flat picks, and a crumpled up piece of paper that you've written lyrics to a song on. Oh, man. So if you ask my wife what, what, what she finds in my pockets, that's pretty much it. You know, it's kind of nice, though, in a way, that you, if you look back on because, like, when I first came to America, I got down to 27 cents before I got a job. That's why I'm kind of intrigued by this. I was down at 27. That's inflation. So. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> no, it was 1995, about okay. the same time. So uh, 27 cents, and when you have, you probably know this, clearly, if you've only got 27 cents and it was in the bank account, you can't get it out. Right. <laughs> It needs to be a dollar before you can have a transaction. <laughs> exactly. So you got 27 cents, but you can't touch it. No, nope. can't touch it. But it's uh, but that but you've got it all in front of you then. No, you're rich. You've got your own bus. You sleep in your underpants. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to look forward to anymore. Ah, <laughs> come on. There's uh, well, there's going back more touring with uh, oh, yeah. smooth smooth K. Well, we we had that band for 20 years, and we'll probably do it forever. I don't see why. Did you guys play together when you were kids? Was yeah, that the deal? sure, absolutely. We played music together ever since we were Kevin was born. I'm nine years older, so uh, I had a little jump on him in terms of music making. But we've always made music together. So that's how you stopped fights when you were bullying him as a child. Well, he would. He one of my memories is he hit me with a melody flute. You know what a melody flute is? Well, I only know the sexual slang term for a melody flute. <laughs> It wasn't that one. It okay. Was, anyway, it's metal, and it has this mouthpiece on it, and he, he hit me right in the forehead with it and drew blood. That's, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like Kevin Bacon to me, man. That's, uh, <laughs> I, can wheel the, I can wheel the sweet melody for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he and, uh, you, you're you're beginning to excite Jeff with this kind of talk. Please don't. <laughs> Did you feel me stop? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, so you, got, you guys are going to play a song from this album, right? Yeah. yeah. What one is it? We're going to play a song called Wonderful Day that uh, is uh, uh, it's actually a, a song that I wrote out here in um, California. Um, and uh, it's kind of about, uh, I don't know, somehow wonderful days sometimes don't turn out that way, something like that. All right, well, we'll find out when you play it then, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Thanks a lot. The Bacon Brothers will be right back with the Bacon Brothers to new play for us. It's, uh, it's really hot today in LA. How hot is it? Oh man, it is so hot. <laughs>
Which uh, makes me wonder why we've got the fire going. Yeah, it's very excessive. It's made... Yeah, I know. I, I think I should probably put it out. Here, let me just... Hang on a second. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's it. Get it. There you go. Put your back into it. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is... I think there's a secret magical land on the other side of the fire. There was a man in there. A man! And he looked like he was some kind of, what would you call a man like that? A prop man of some yeah, kind? Yeah. Did you see his hands yeah. creeping out, trying to put the fire back? But doesn't it feel so much cooler with the fire move? It certainly does. Actually moved it's very hard to see at this angle that it's moved at all. Perhaps you could move one of these cameras. They're on wheels! Yeah! yeah there it is. <laughs> that right was there. Yeah, right there, yeah. Oh, there you are. So much Look, better. Look, it's a secret magical land inside here. <laughs> oh. I know what you're thinking, Craig, what on earth are you doing? I am literally deconstructing the Tootsie Fruit.